What is up, guys? It is Uncle Bob, and thanks for hanging out with me. We are here for the final episode of Link's Awakening. We are here on our end. I just finished recording my uh, like live stream thing that I did. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little tongue twisted. So I'm going to have a hard time speaking. I apologize. But we are here on our never ending quest. Seemingly. To beat every mainline Zelda game. And yeah. Today is the end of Link's Awakening. And I'm trying to think about how I'm going to measure up this game to the previous four games. I don't want to really talk about it right now because that would obviously spoil the entire point of any review video that I make. Um, all right, let's get these. <laughs> that bird was weaken so is that one i don't know why but he is well he seems like he's fine now but as you can see we have all eight instruments which means it is time for the game to end we are going to go to the wind fish and blow the egg and it satisfies me we have uncover the entire map not a single spot has been left the only thing we got to do real quick is we need to go to the library and we need to find the what's it called the we need to find the directions for the windfish egg because in every game, it is, or every file, I believe, it's different. Now, I don't know how different it is. I don't know if it's truly random, randomly generated, or if it's like a, like there's, you know, 12 different variations that it might be. I don't actually know. As far as I'm concerned, and as far as my memory will ever be concerned, it will be randomly generated, even if it's not. It could be exactly the same every single time, and it's not like I'm ever going to remember. So, do I have the... Okay, so I do want to get a... Fuck you. I want to get a life potion to make sure I have something to help in case of a... In case of a death, because that would be lame. You know, dying any other point is fine. Sorry, I'm rubbing my eyes. But uh, dying during a um, dying during the final boss, especially in a Zelda game, is real lame. It happens sometimes, but boy, does it feel deflating. Fuck you, chicken. I was going to hit him again, too, but he jumped away. Or he ran away from me. I jumped away from him, actually. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, Library. Sorry. Do. Oh, Marin. What's up? <laughs> Thank you for everything, Link. You're the kindest boy I know. One day I made a wish to the windfish. What was the wish? No, it's a secret. Did I hit the dog and the dog hit me back? I looked away for a brief second. Oh. I would say that uh, overall my last... Uh, My last little live stream thing that I did went, at least compared to the first one, it seemed to do better. Nobody really popped in while I was listening to the music, which was the whole point. But at very least, some people were tuning in to 
me ranting about why I was doing it and the importance of it, at very least to me. Why I felt like people didn't take music as seriously as an art form as they should. You know, all of those things. And it was a lot of fun. I am ready to do it next Saturday again. I am ready to feel just as cooked as I am right now. And, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Both weeks were a lot of fun. Especially because the beginning spiel that I try to give is like 15 minutes long. Knowing how much I meander and don't get to the point right away. Also being drunk, you know, I've had six beers, so I'm feeling, um, I've eaten a good amount, so like I'm not feeling terrible. I've drinking a lot of water. I'm well hydrated. I don't drink a lot of sugar anymore. I dropped my phone. All right. Now, this is where the trading sequence is mandatory because... If you will ever restart the series, one of these books was had like letters you couldn't read because it was too small or some bullshit. And I believe this is it. Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Koholint. Koholint, do you want to read it? Yes. Round and round the passageways of the egg. Oh, I wrote it down. I swear to God I wrote it down. All right, cool. So that gives us the path that we need in order to navigate through the windfish egg. If you try to go to the windfish egg, you will just kind of wander around and not know what's up. And uh, obviously, if you finish the trading sequence and you... Kind of, you know, figured shit out. Well, you got your answer right here. I do think as far as endings go. And like, if you don't know any better, milking around and like. And see, now it makes me wish I remembered what it said before you actually have the magnifying glass. Because... That is, I would say, honestly, of the first, people talk about the first two games, especially, especially the first one, being really cryptic. Honestly, that's the most dumb and cryptic bullshit that I think a Zelda game has ever done. Like, because growing up, I definitely played the shit out of Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Zelda 3, Ocarina of Time. Like, this is one of the games that I didn't get to play as much. And one of my best friends, like, this was one of the few Zelda games he'd ever beaten. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, fuck you. I wanted to go and get... Well, never mind. I guess we're just gonna... I guess we're just gonna fucking yeah. Just go right here. All right, before we do this epic shit and start the end game, we're gonna take another drag. Cause why not? Because why not? It's the end of the game. Let's be a little spicy. But, uh, yeah, I would... At very least, like, the first Zelda game has... I, has a lot of hints that get you to where you need to go. And it's supposed to come with the booklet, everything else. 
Zelda 2, I actually don't remember. Zelda 2 is one of the games that I just remember. Even though it's one of the games that I've beaten the least, I still remember that game. It's, I mean, it's not very hard to remember where all the shit is in that game. And how to explore and where to explore. That game's actually pretty easy. In that regard. In other regards, the game is a pain in the ass. But oh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see what my thoughts are on this game at the end of all this. Cause I don't know what they're gonna. I mean, I obviously I kind of know what they're gonna be, but I don't know how I'm gonna conclude it. And I don't actually know if I. The way that I have it with Adventures of Link on top, I don't know if I put this on top. I'm not sure. I haven't actually thought of it. Because already the way these rankings are shaping out is different than it would have been when I was young. Like when I was young, like when I was a teenager, A Link to the Past would have been number one at all times. It was only as I reached like my 20s and a little bit older, you know, 25, that Majora's Mask became my favorite. Like, I think it might have been, I think Wind Waker is actually the one that stayed where it was at number two. Uh, I think Majora was number three, I think, or it would have been number two. But I don't know how I'm going to view all of it when it's said and done. Oh, wait. <sighs> I never learned the fucking Ballad of the Windfish. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm also going to need to be keeping an eye on my phone. Got to make sure my stepson isn't trying to get a hold of me. Fuck you. Because I'm obvious. Um, I mean, I guess it's not obvious. I'm in my car chilling. So. The only reason that's important is that. In case like my daughter wakes up and is trying to, you know, find one of the adults. You know, the teenagers will text me asking me where I'm at. Oh, my foot. Oh. Oh, my God. I had my foot propped up in a certain way where just... Oh, it got stiff after being there for a while. Oh. Let's talk to Merit. See if she can teach me the the ballad of the wind fish. Yeah. Boo doo boo doo boo. Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? This is actually appropriate. Freestyle, yeah, let's go. It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick with your mind? You've learned the ballad of the windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. That's depressing.
Okay, so nothing happens. It just plays. There we go. Oh, well, fantastic game. I know I'm a little bit tired, but man, this game just fucking does it. I'm actually really ready. I've decided that I'm going to start playing because uh, I've only beaten the first Castlevania on the channel. I'm going to play Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, and uh, yeah, that should be a lot of fun. I really look forward to playing that game. Especially because I, uh, <laughs> I know legendarily that most of the bosses are actually very easy. So, as long as you can figure out the stupid actual game. I've just heard you have to definitely handle it with... Fucking old game. Yo! What? Since when? Since fucking when? Excuse me? Since when could I do that? That's never happened once. Ever. That's wild. After all the trials and tribulations. Time has come. The wind fish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot hoot. Wind fish's egg. All right, hold on. All right. Oh, dick. Oh, no, never mind. This gets us where we... Okay, so... Left, up, right, up, left, up, there we go. Right. Come on, choose the fucking, the fucking thing. All right, let's take ourselves a drag. We have no potion, so we better live through this, because that would be lame. Oh, I'm ready to be done with this game. Not that I haven't loved it. I've loved this game a lot. It's the first Zelda game where, like, the world feels like a world. Like, it feels like a pro... Like, it just feels like a place to explore. I don't know. And maybe this is just because I've played A Link to the Past too much. It There's still something about it that just feels a little too hollow. 
and tinny, just a little bit. All right. Let's beat some ass. We were born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the wind fish sleep endlessly. If the wind fish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the monsters of this place. But we had to come here and corrupt our plans. Okay. That doesn't seem to be the answer. There we go. All right. Let's go. Come at me, bro. Oh, shit. I thought he was going to disappear. Well, this feels... Yeah. Let's go, bitch. Ooh, I like how that feels like it has like weight and girth to it. God, does that fucking sprite look retarded. Good old agonim. Agonim. Call me the Moldorm fucking expert, bitch. Ah! I am the hunter. Okay, all right. Okay, so that's not working. Hmm. Okay, so none of this is working. Okay, I don't know why that worked and the other shit didn't. Is it just because it's a spin attack? 
Weave. Weave. Fail at weave. Ooh, that was the last good weave. Alright, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Ah! Shit. Okay. Not nearly as... <laughs> I was going to say not nearly as threatening as it should be. And I fuck it up anyway. Oh my god. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Oh. I risked it all. Fuck! Oh, you're a dick. You're going to make me do this again. All right. Left, up, right. Left, up, right, and then it should be up, le up, left, up, right? Up, left, up, right, up. Ooh, I'm only starting with fucking half health. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right, all right. I give him the woo 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 Okay, that's one form. Next is just I got him. Fuck this shit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other shit just took me a second to figure. Oh no! I didn't know it had the thing like the last game. Oh, you're a dick! You're a dick this time! <sighs> Cocksucker. Moldorm? Fuck. 
Okay. That ends that one. What's the next one? You're a fuck face. God damn it. They used up so much health just now. Shit with this wonky ass hitbox. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nope. There we go. There we go. There we go. Don't risk don't risk it on frivolous bullshit. No frivolous bullshit. Why? Why would you? Come on with your weird ass angle that you got this at. God damn it. God damn it. No. All right. It has already been. Fuck. It's been 32 minutes. I think that's going to be it for the day, guys. Um, I think next time we're going to just get the potion and we're just going to finish it. I think usually I do the ending and the review separately. I think I might do them together. I think I might do that. But unfortunately, I am just, I'm toasted and it's been fun, but we're going to have to cut it off for the day, but we'll finish it and review it and see how I stack it up against the other Zelda games. So yeah, till next time guys, peace. And by next time, I mean tomorrow. See ya.